Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you all know, my name is Nora Bello and I came into Canada this year, 2023, February, on a work visa with my family. And I came through the Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program, which is the SIMP under the Art of Your Skill Pilot Program. I live in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada, and I work as a personal care aide in the, in the care home, otherwise known as health care assistant back home in Nigeria. And um, I currently, I post videos on this channel based on my lifestyle and experiences in Canada and it's especially the immigration route that you can take to come to Canada either as an international student studying here which is a part of PR and also um, either on a work visa like myself or on a permanent residence basis through the SL, which really as just enter it whichever way you want it. Today's video is a very interesting topic and I took my time to compile the list of everything that I brought to Canada while I was coming and also I um, watched a lot of videos on YouTube to put me in, you know in tune on what to bring in and what not and you've already seen the topic which says things that I brought to Canada when I was coming and this video is going to help people that are about to relocate to Canada and also for those that already received their PPR which is um passport request this is the time you watch this kind of video because while i was back home in nigeria i actually watched this video even before i received the ppr email from ircc but because i was just very very excited but <laughs> when i got the email i just couldn't wait to shop and bring stuff to canada because you know it's an exciting period and i'm very sure if you that you have behind this camera watching me right now you're excited to come to canada and this is the video you should be watching because i have uh a detailed list of things that you should bring in and if it's just, if it is free to do extra cargo or not and everything i have on my list i'll be looking down if you don't mind because i have it right on my list and i don't want to make mistakes so please stay tuned and let's get to it first things first i am say all the words inside my head i'm fired up and tired of the way the things have been oh, oh. okay guys so the first thing you need to consider to buy um before you even cons before you even start to shop at all is a digital portable um way um way checker yeah luggage scale rather so this is it it looks like this and there are other design that you can see out there you can just go to the local store around your house or you go to the main market i think my husband got these in balogun market i don't know maybe he heard it online so you just have to put it on in the middle and it display um some numbers and then you just put your luggage right here and then wait and before you know can you see it's already displaying and this really help us to know what we are packing because um no matter the hairline that you book you're going to be given to you're going to be given to bring them um, two big bags and one small and luggage so the big bags each of them are going to be 23 kg and also the small bag is going to be around 10 kg so this is very important that you have this skill to ensure that you measure and weigh whatever it is you're packing in each bag. What we did then back home was that we ensure that we didn't um we didn't um um fill up our bag up to 23 kg um, 23 kg on point. This is because you know we don't know the kind of weight the weighing machine they're using at the airport, and we don't want to shoot our seven of food. So what we did was that we um we ensure that each bags have at least 22 kg or 22.5 kg we didn't take it up to 23 kg and i think you should also do this because it will save you time and it will also save you um knowing that um, you will not have to um take out some of the luggage um some, some of your loads in your luggage when you get to the airport because trust me if it is more than 23 kg you either pay for excess luggage or you take them out and you know you have someone to take it back home for you or you just throw it in the trash so this is very important okay so the second one now on my list is a universal adapter yes guys this is very very important and it looks like this see guys this is a universal adapter it has three faces this is the one the kind of face that i use here in canada and this is not what we use in nigeria it's totally different and then it also has this face this is the one that we use in can we use in nigeria and then it also has this one this one says hero yeah this one says europe this one right here i think they use this type in europe so you want to make sure you come with at least one or two of this to save you a lot you get most of my air styling kit that i brought they have this face and these cannot go in through the face of this one on the wall here 
because that's what it, what it was what it used here in Canada. So I plug this to the wall and then I just fix in my my whatever I want to use my air styling kit and then I'm good to go. So you want to bring this to is very very important. It's called universal adapter. So guys, please put this in your list. <laughs> and the next one on my list is tool. That is a tool that I like hammer, like screwdriver. My husband bought a lot. <laughs> Before I continue, we did extra cargo, guys. Yeah, so if you some of some of stuff that you know they are kind of if you put it in, on your in your bag, just know that you're done for. Like you're not gonna have any extra space. So we did extra cargo. We did two big bag extra cargo. We actually cargoed it before we left Nigeria. So we really then we went with the bags, two 23 kg bags for myself, my husband, and my son, my three year old boy. So um and then so that's just it. So most of these heavy stuff we already cargo them before we even came here. So my husband brought tools. This is a plier and <laughs> screwdriver. This is armor and a bunch of them. See, a lot of them. Lots of lots of tools. Even came with battery. <laughs> lots of tools. And then it came with extra cables. I don't know, but <laughs> this is everything I brought from Nigeria. And trust me, guys, they are actually very, very useful. You know, sometimes you just want to fix some things in the house. You don't want to spend extra, you know, because when you get here, you don't have all those things. You call this um, um, people, why they even have forgotten, to come and help you fix stuff. And, you know, they will charge you for hours. You know, one hour even like $100. You know, they work based on hours here. So if you need to be skilled and you need to come with your tools and fix all those minus things in your house. So guys, it's very important you bring tools with you. So the next thing you want to put on your list when you're shopping to come to Canada is Ziploc bag. Yes, guys, this is very, very important. This you're going to use to put your food inside, you know, some grain, cereal, grains like rice, gari, which is um, cassava flakes and beans. Most especially all your food, use Ziploc to, you know, to pack them and they come in different sizes. So guys, I don't have an empty Ziploc. But for the sake of this video, I'll just um, use this as a sample. This is a small size and it has medium size and it also has big size. Zip lock is very, very important. And also ensure that you have a marker and also a paper tape. We call it masking tape. I don't know where I put it, but I brought it out. A paper tape so that I can, you know, label whatever it is you're buying, you know, just to ensure that you when you get to the airport either in canada or in nigeria if they decide to open your luggage because they didn't open mine they only weigh them so just to be on the safe side you know just put in a zip lock like this and you also need a transparent cello tape like this one i have here just to ensure that you tape this area this area and then ensure that it doesn't spill out because sometimes the zip lock um um taping um, whatever doesn't fit well so it's very important to get all of these things just to ensure that you're doing the right thing because that is what i did and i think it will work for you too yeah okay guys so because of size because you're limited to 23 kg two bags 23 kgs and a, um, a 10 kg luggage i would suggest that you don't buy box you should come with a very strong thick bag like this one i think i'm gonna stand up and show you guys to come with a bag like this is really strong and is big check it out guys it's strong and big this is a 23 kg size depending on what you're putting inside so you want to come with something like this okay guys it's really strong we bought four of these and then we also bought two of this sack, very strong, not the normal Ghana muscle that we know from back home. This one is really, really strong. And I want to consider, I want to, um, this is what you should be considered to buy. You know, you should buy this when you're coming to Canada. So I can put your load and you'll be safe. And one of the most important things that you should bring when coming to Canada are your documents, your credentials. They are very, very important. You cannot afford to leave them back home. Or whatever country you're coming from you can't afford to leave them if you don't if you're scared of coming in with the original you can you know have it faxed to your you know fax you when you get here and also you, if like 
for example, I brought mine, all the originals, the uh, photocopies, the original, I put them, I ensured I bought this um, file to keep it safe, and then I brought all of my documents, they're actually more than this, but this is what I can um, showcase for now. I brought a lot of my, all of them, like every document, my birth certificates, my race certificates, uh, my credentials, my transcript, I brought everything, even all the files, the form that I filled on IRCC website and SIMP website. I ensured I have a copy of everything and I brought everything when I was coming. I put it in my hand luggage. You can't afford to put it in your, um, the, the luggage that they're going to be put in there, in the storage space, in the, in the train. You can't afford to do that. Ensure you put all your documents in your hand luggage and have it checked in with you and put it on your upper cabinet when you're sitting down. Very, very important because, well, if they, um, maybe they mistakenly or, you know, they misplace your bags, the one you check, um, the one you have in the storage space, there's no way you can get it back. So it's very, very important to bring them and have them checked in with you yeah, on in your 10 kg. Okay, so let's move to the important thing, which are food. Food is very, very important. You want to bring your local food. You want to bring your survival food. I call survival food because when you get here, you need to, you know, bounce on that first before you want to start buying food from stores because guess what? It's very expensive here. Usually our local Nigerian food, if you like to eat uh, local Nigerian food or any other local food from wherever you're coming from, maybe the Philippines or any country at all, you want to bring your local food because yes, you find them here, but they are very expensive. So I have a list here. I'm going to be going through them one by one. The first on my list is rice. Yes, guys, yes. Even though we were told that we'll get rice here, we brought rice, we brought just one to block of rice and it survived us. It's, it's, <laughs> we, when we got here, that was the first thing we, we ate. So it's important. If you think you, you want to come here and go to the store immediately and start spending dollars to buy food, you can, depending on your pocket, but we just feel like, yes, since you're doing extra cargo, why don't you just bring everything that we want to bring? So we brought rice. And after that, we bought we bought um pound of yam. Yes, this is the remaining pound of yam. But Ayola pound. I wanted to buy Ola Ola, but at the time I was shopping, I couldn't get Ola Ola. So I bought Ayola, the bigger size, and this is what is remaining. And after that, I also brought yellow gari. Yes, this is quite heavy. This is yellow gari. You can see I put the name and all, so I tape it on the the opening to avoid spillage we bought we bought like two of this and this is the second one we already eaten the first one yeah yes we also brought semo vita i bought two types semolina and semo vita so we bought like three of this and um this is the last one because <laughs> i came into the country about six months ago and we've eaten quite a lot of them and we still have some so and then the next one is stock fish yes we brought stock fish we bought like two of this and this is what is <laughs> this is what is remaining guys i love to cook with stock fish ah oh, the smell alone is nice you know because i like fish <laughs> so we bought stock fish and then we brought um dry pepper yeah, I brought the blended dry pepper and I also brought the old dry pepper. This is the old dry pepper. I love to use this to cook my Ewagoni sauce back home in Nigeria. <clears throat> if you're not from Nigeria and you're watching these, I'll be saying some of some of this food in my language. I'll try my best to say them in the English, but sometimes I'll just flow with the trend, you know. <laughs> so this is dry pepper, and um, I love to use this to as a sauce on my ewa, ewa going on my beans, ewa is called beans. So this is spicy and it's very tasty when you cook it and you know, you fry the pepper within the palm oil and then you use it as a sauce for your beans, which is called ewa going back home. And then I also have dried pepper. I don't know where I put that one. Yeah, the blended one. This one is also surviving. Mm -hmm. This is also dry pepper, the blender. I can blend that to give me this as well. And this is 
this one is actually blend for back home so i brought it like this too so after that i also have ogbono yes i brought ogbono ogbono i bought the seed which is called melon seed yes you know this is very very good as well we bought two of this and i think i still have half in the cabinet but i just you know i want to showcase this one for you guys to see yeah so guys we also brought beans <clears throat> this is sweet beans i just have to store it in the fridge because you know if you don't you start bringing out these um this flies beans flies i think it's called b2 or something so i brought these and i keep it in the fridge like this to keep it healthy and i also brought a goosey i think it's called melon or something a goosey I didn't blend this because i want to keep it healthy because you know it has its own oil natural oil so when you blend it and keep it in a ziploc for a long time it's, it tends to spoil so i decided to bring it whole like this you can see all labels and this is we brought like it's actually a full ziploc and um like a small size so i got one and a half of this so this is what is left and after that, I brought in tapioca. Yes. Where is my tapioca? Tapioca. Yeah. I brought in tapioca. This is a very good cereal. I take this occasionally, you know, just once in a while like that. I brought just the size. It's actually um, up to this level. And I've taken it up to the size. And, you know, take it with milk and coconut. It go very well so you want to bring something like this if you like it and after that i brought zobo leaves yeah yeah zobo leaves it's called ibiscus leaves you know this is very healthy make it for your family i make this my family occasionally as well not every time because you know <laughs> sometimes a lot of work so you just want to do what you can do and you'll find it just ensure that you bring the little you can bring because you're working with a particular kg working with like a particular weight and you don't want to overshoot so it's very important to take that into you know into note and the next one we brought pepper soup spice yes yeah. pepper soup spice this is pepper soup spice we got this from i think balogu market we also got this from um this is ginger and garlic spice yeah pepper soup ginger and garlic and after that, I brought nutmeg, if I love to bake. Mm. This is nutmeg in this jar. I also bought potash, we call it corn vacuum. But I've not used it because I've not cooked the video. <laughs> this is jute leaves and this is um, nutmeg. And okay guys, so I also brought um, low cost beans. We call it iru in my language. This is dried locust beans. I brought just this two, and this is almost finished. This is still sealed, and I've been using it to make my vegetables and also iru sauce. You know, this is very very tasty. For those that know about this, you can afford to leave this back home. If you want me to drop the name of where I got it, I got it on Instagram, and I have the lady had it delivered to my house so it's very easy for you to place your order it's really tasty and nice so the next thing i got is a grater yes this is very important this you can quickly make your um your stew you know maybe when you got here you haven't maybe when you get here you haven't you know settled to buy blender this will do a lot for you when you want to make noodles when you want to make um some locust bean spice i want to make stew you know stew in general this would do a very good job for you so i brought two actually and i haven't started to use this one I'm starting this actually. <laughs> yeah that's it and then the next one on my list i brought ugu and oziza leaves yes that i do not like when i brought them like i thought i was gonna like them but it turns out that I didn't like them because they are too dry and they kind of lose taste. This is it. This is 
ogu leaf and this is oziza leaves when i tried to cook with them i realized that it wasn't giving me that fresh taste and i just didn't like it so i didn't use it much i didn't use much of it so what i did was i would advise if you love your food to taste good i might just bring a little of this too and because you're gonna get vegetables here i've been cooking vegetables that we bought here and they've been just nice yeah so i would say don't bring much of this just bring a little of the oziza leaves and the ugu leaves and you're fine and then we also brought dried panla yes um which is tilapia fish i think yeah the dried one and it's just finished already and we brought wheat for my husband my husband loved to eat wheat we brought just one the small size and then we also brought maggi anything chicken is not allowed in canada so um you're not allowed to bring no chicken or anything that has to do with chicken so we just brought please knock you the normal one without chicken flavor and the next that we brought on our list is uh we brought palm oil yes we're telling that you're not allowed to bring palm oil because it will spill because you know it's to make a mess and all but we got this pack this this container we bought it from Sura Market. Yes, and it's very tight. So what we did was that we we bought like a dozen of it, which we didn't <laughs> use all eventually. And then we this is um Ofada oil, Ofada stew oil. It's also palm oil, but it's bleached. It is bleached to like a thousand degrees Celsius. So that's how the color is like this. We bought just um this this size is um i think 250 mil or so if i'm correct no no two and a half kg yes two and a half kg because i remember the oil the palm oil that we brought we brought two of this we, we put them in the freezer for them to freeze and then we wrap it in um with in th in um let's say paper it's not paper bag we, we just wrapped it in clothes and then we eat it in our luggage without letting them know because you know we just can't we just needed to go with palm oil and then to have that uh local taste palm oil because we don't know the kind of palm oil we're getting here but yes guys the you normal know, palm oil the palm oil we brought us finished and we've been buying palm oil here and it's been fine we got it from african store and it's been fine so this is the pack that we used to bring our palm oil and it is safe if you want to bring palm oil from back home or from wherever you're coming from you can buy this kind of bag if you need it just let me know and i'll you know give you the person's link or you can just easily go to Sura Market and purchase this if you live in lagos you know this is you know the Sura Market i'm talking about so you get this this pack from there and then you can bring your palm oil or whatever liquid you want to bring just ensure that you freeze them before bringing them or before, before putting them in your load so that's it and then the next on our on my list is um dried i've talked about dry panla or father sauce yes i have the of father sauce somewhere here yeah like i said i got the oil and this is the of father pepper mix we bought about three of this and this is the last one it's really good it tastes really nice it give you that of that taste you get this so we also brought tomato paste yes the one not the thin one because you know it's gonna have extra weight so we decided to go with the sachet one and then we brought about half of carton yes i just went to the market and bought half carton and then i just put it in, the, in our bags and we brought that so i don't have it here again it's finished then i also came with crayfish yes this is unblended crayfish i've not blended this one so whenever i want to use i just take a chunk and i blend it and it's good to go and then i also brought alligator pepe <laughs> if you love if you love um spicy food <laughs> you might want to bring alligator pepe it's very hot very very hot and it's good and also if you yeah we brought indomie onions yeah we bought like one carton of the big size yeah of indomie cut of indomie onion you're not allowed to bring indomie chicken like i said earlier you're not allowed to bring anything chicken so we brought indomie onion and then we also bought big red prawns 
Sorry. Uh, it brought big red prawn. Yes, this one. This red prawn. Very tasty. It's expensive. But <laughs> you know, we are coming here and we just have to get those stuff. And I've talked about the offer of mix, and that is all for the food that we brought. So the next now, I'll be talking about medication, accessories, and all. So I forgot, I forgot to mention suya spice we also brought suya spice and sometimes you just be in the house and you just want to have that you know look at taste of suya and this so have a long run. and then i also brought bay leaves for the love fries lover and stew lover so i brought bay leaf too and that's it so now i'm moving on to snacks yeah we brought some plantain chips this pack this is still very crunchy like i love it i want like six packs this is one pack i like this pack and this is what is in me yeah <laughs> just love the crunchiness just to have a feel of you know plantain chips that we used to have back home and then i also brought biscuit <clears throat> just a few digestive biscuits and if you have children you want to bring their cereal you want to bring goldie mon you want to bring their snacks in general you want to bring their milk yes children milk are, are acceptable you cannot bring anything milk anything chicken to canada but children milk like pick one two three it's very very um um it's allowed for you to bring them in so i brought my my baby my son milk and then that's it and so we're moving on to accessories yes you want to come with super glue yes of course you can get here you know just come with one or two just to have it at home you also want to come with nail cutter sometimes you want to cut your nail you want to come with clippers yes my husband brought air clippers and then you also want to come with um brush mouth brush hair brush you want to come with toothpaste all of these are very very important bathing soap sponge your towels you want to come with them and you also want, want to come with vaseline you know sometimes your body gets so dry you want to come with vaseline and shea butter let me get so guys this is the shea butter i'm talking about yes yeah i have not really used a lot from it <laughs> but it's very good you know when you're coming during the winter you want to use this to lock in your cream to avoid looking like like a ghost. Now this is the blue silver sling. If you don't like shea butter smell, you can get this for you, for yourself too. This is very good. It has this healing um effect, and it's very good. I use it for my son, and it keeps him shiny all day. And I also use it for my feet too. Sometimes I get very dried feet, and when I apply this, it works. Work magic. And also. If you're a Muslim, come with your prayer mats. Like I'm, I'm a Muslim, and my husband is a Muslim. We are Muslims. So we come with our prayer mats and all. And if you're a Christian, come with your Bible. Muslim, come with your Quran. You don't want to forget God when you get here. It's very, very important. And also, you should come with pen and pencil for your children. If you're coming with any of them, it's um just to have this at home. You don't have to run to a store just to get a pen. And also come with razor blade, you know, yes, for us ladies, you know, you want to shave this bro. <laughs> you want to sharpen your baby, your child's pencil, you know. You know that all those things are very important. You also need to come with needle and thread. Yes, this is very, very important. You should come with needle and thread. This will save you a lot. Like some of my wig, the, the wig band are getting loosed up. What I just do is I'll just, you know, use the needle and thread to tack it and to make it look good again. So sometimes you might need it for some of your clothes that are maybe you can't afford to <laughs> take it to a seamstress out here. So just come with this. It will serve a long purpose for you. Yeah. And then another thing that you want to come with is shaving stick, you know, just to shave your private area and all now moving on to medication yes you want to come with your children medication 
your home medication and um i bought a lot actually <laughs> that i didn't eventually use i've not used a lot of them see i brought totaling cough syrup i even brought seven keys <laughs> i brought emprofin i brought paracetamol syrup for my child and i got yes i got the mama paracetamol for myself and my husband because here they don't have paracetamol here what they will give you is tylenol is their own paracetamol and you know i've tried to use tylenol when i had my baby because when we left the hospital i'm a naughty mom just so you know i had a two month old baby so when i had my baby two months ago i was giving tylenol to reduce pain and all but when i used tylenol it didn't do nothing for me because i was still feeling the pain so i had to use paracetamol and it worked magic because you know i'm used to paracetamol from back home so drink some of this medicine they are very very important i bought vitamin c for my son vitamin d because you know during the winter there are limited sun so you want to ensure you brought vitamin d for them and that's it you can bring sunscreen or you can come here to get the sunscreen you can also bring a boniki rub and the rest of them all of these are very very important guys i brought uh sick nails <laughs> And I've not used. <laughs> I brought fake nails. Yeah, I brought a couple. And I've not even tried to use them because, you know, I'm a nursing mom and I can't afford to hurt my baby when I'm bathing him. So I also, in this bag, I have a band. Yes, I also brought this um, thing that we use to hold your air, you know. Yeah, about the small size and the big size. I have brush in here. I have nail dissolver yes i brought dissolver so in case you, i paint my nails and i want to change it i just use that to remove it and i bought a razor blade got to be glue i brought paint i bought this um wig holder on mannequin i brought a lot of things are in here uh i also bought sakatin comb Airbrush. These are just pairs. These are just pairs. I have the ones I'm using currently. And I also bought um this wax wax stick. This is also a a spare. I have the one I'm using currently. And I bought a different color of this too. <laughs> and then um I also brought perfume oil. Just back home I sell perfume oil perfumes body spray anything that will make you smell good i sell them when i was back in nigeria said so, so i brought a few i brought like this 100 ml refuel oil this is creed aventas coconut coco mademoiselle mango temptation i brought about eight different bottles of perfume oil i also bought deodorant and that's just it guys <laughs> then moving on to kitchen utensils okay so for my kitchen utensils I brought a turning stick. We call it Omoirogo in my language, Yoruba. So this helped me to make my swallows. <laughs> and then I also brought a scooper. You know, after you make swallow, you want to scoop it and put it on a plate, right? Yeah, so this is plastic. It's and then I brought a cooking pot. Yeah, this is actually a set of four was given to me as a wedding gift on my wedding day so i bought this because i didn't even use it back home so i'm like why not instead of throwing it all out i just or giving it all out i just and i brought it and then that's it and i've talked about greater and then i also come with my uh fork knife and spoon you know and then also the biggest spoon for I can use to scoop meal from the pot. So it's very important that when you're coming, you come with your spoon, fork, and knife. And then some of these things are very, very important so that you can have them. And then avoid buying them with your dollars. So now moving on to uh, air product. Now before I move there, 
I also forgot that I forgot to mention that I brought granite. I brought six of this, six bottles of granite, and this is the last one standing. <laughs> yeah, so, and then before I move forward to, I brought this piece of equipment. This is really, really helpful. It helped me to dice my salad. If I want to make salad, I use this part for to chop my carrot, and I use this part to 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 chop my cucumber, and then this part I haven't used it because I don't know what to use. And then this roughage area, I use it for my okra. So this is very very good, and I got it for two hundred naira back home. It's very very cheap. So guys, you want to come with this? It will help you a great deal. And now moving on to the air products. Yes. Before I move on to the air product, ladies, please come with your makeup. Come with your makeup. It's very, very important that you come with your makeup. So, I came with two bags of makeup. This is one. I have my foundation. There's no foundation here. This is just high lash, bronzer, powder. Um, yes, there's foundation here too. And I also came with this one. Mm another bag of makeup yes guys the truth is that i've not really used makeup like that because my profession doesn't really allow me to i'll be at work and i don't even need to use makeup and most people here don't even wear makeup so like, the only time i get to use makeup is when i'm making a video <laughs> so guys do not forget your makeup at home ladies come with your makeup everything you need to make you look beautiful come with it it's very very important all of these are my makeup yeah mm -hmm. if you use black soap like myself you want to come with your body product too your scrub your black soap everything that makes you i use on your skin bring them in small quantity and um, also come with your air kit got to be spray coral lala are all important i want to come with this beautiful oil if you are you know it helps to protect your hair from heat when you are straightening or curling it. It's very important. I also came with olive oil spray too. This is also oil. And then this is a tint spray for your frontal. My frontal, where are, where are you? <laughs> you want to come with it too? Then this is another oil that I've not even launched. I've not opened it yet. Olive oil, you want to come with it as well. Then I also got this Hawaiian Siki. I don't know, but I just I was just buying things because you know we did extra cargo so and I've not opened this too. And then you want to come with your Cantu Argan oil. Yes, I came with this too. I've started using it and it's really good. And I also brought Mega Grilled Leave-in Conditional. And then you also want to come with your spray bottle. It's very important. All this thing you have them at home already. You don't have to give it out or throw them away. Just come with them. They're going to be very useful here. So moving on, you have to come with your, your curling tools, straightening tools. This is the Cricut curling tools. Like I said, look at this. Now, this will not fit into the face of the socket they have here. You have to come with the universal adapter. To be able to use this, you just plug it in like this. You see? And you're good to go. And then I also brought... Um, <laughs> this cute air dryer that is not even doing the work, but I brought it anyway. And this is a calling too. I brought this too. This is really hot. I love it. It helps me to add color to my air. I brought hot comb as well. Yeah, all of these are ladies, you know. Oh, my ladies in the house. Just to straighten your frontal or your closure and i brought straight now so like i said again you know that all of this are very very important look at this face now it goes in here and then this will go into the plug voila <laughs> moving on to clothing guys you want to come with as much as as much as you can you you just don't want to leave any of your clothes at home if you want to come with something new I'll advise to go to the market, go to the famous Balogu market and get your clothing. Yes, you see something really nice there because while I was coming, I shopped a little from that side too. I mean, in that market. So 
you need to ensure you come with your clothing. Jali, if you're coming with children, come with your jeans, your jeans trousers, their tops or their blouse, their shirts. Come with your sneakers, just one. And come with your slippers as well or, or crocs, yes. And come with your crocs too. Come with your own crocs as well. It's very, very important. Maybe there's just one one of each. Then you can, if you come with your spouse, you also want to ensure that you help them pack. Come with your clothing. If they are in official line, like all these, their office jobs, maybe an engineer or maybe a banker or maybe <clears throat> a doctor, you want to come with a suit for them. Because me, I am, a, I am a healthcare assistant back home. So I came with two of my uniforms. And I, when I got here, I bought more because when I came here, I was pregnant and my clothes wasn't, you know, my size. Again, I have to buy something bigger. So I shopped for more of my um, uh, uh, my scrub, nursing scrub. And um, like I said, come with tops, jeans, singlets for your children. You want to come with your undies. You want to shop new one if you want to. And then come with your children boxers. Help your husband to... to you know, pack their stuff and just make sure everybody's fine, you get. <laughs> so that's it, guys. For my ladies, you want to come with your jewelries, your neck chain, your earrings, your bangles, wristwatch, if you have any. And then you also want to come with a wig cap, yes. There's this thing we put underneath our wig. It's called wig cap. And then you want to come with your perfumes I've mentioned. Now, you also want to come with your native wear. You can come with, you can come with one or two. You know, nobody's going to OD for it, guys. Just, you know, try to make things fun for yourself here. So that's it. That's for clothing. And if you're coming during the winter, like we did, you need to ensure you come prepared, come ready, because winter is not a joke. You want to make sure you come with a very thick winter jacket. I can recommend you go to the famous Sura Market, yes. I mean, the famous, um, what's it called? Yaba Market, yes. You get your winter jackets from there. Just tell them you're coming. You want to shop for Canadian winter jacket because, you know, there is UK jacket, there is different countries jackets. So you want to make sure you get the very thick one that can stand the weather over. Sure, ensure you get the thickest winter jacket that you can find in um, Yaba Market. It's very, very important. Ensure you get the head gear as well, you know, <laughs> the cap, winter cap. <clears throat> you want to get gloves, <clears throat> winter gloves as well. And then the next scarf as well is very, very important. And there's this thing they call inner tights here. So yes, if you want to get it, you can get it too. So I got two and it was not easy. It wasn't really com comforting for me to put the tights and I'll also wear a jean trouser. So it's too much of a load for me. So. I, I ended up not using it. And I also want to get a very nice winter boot. I'm going to show. Okay, guys. So this is the winter jacket I got from back home. In Yaba Market. And it's actually very cheap. Very thick. And it has this covering as well. <laughs> and I also got socks. You know, I want to put socks when you are coming during the winter because it gets really cold. I actually got two winter jackets. So this is the other one. <laughs> it's very chic, very nice, and it also have a head covering. So I got these two from. From Yaba Market. <laughs> so after that, I also got this beautiful winter boots. <laughs> I was kidding, guys, because I thought this would withstand the um, the winter condition here, but mm -mm, it didn't work. So eventually, we had to get this for me. This is really thick and heavy. This was what I eventually um, used during the winter. I hear the sound. It's really thick and it's heavy. This is what can do the work. This is just for fashion. It didn't do nothing. My leg was freezing. So we had to get this for me. So guys, winter is not a joke here. So that's it, guys. 
So guys, the next thing is for ladies, please bring your wigs. Bring as many as you can. I brought in about 13 different wigs. I also brought um, crochet because, you know, <clears throat> I feel crochet is easy to maintain and um, you don't have to use it once. You can use it one now and then you can use it over and over again. That is how I use my crochet. It's for lifetime. Lifetime, that's what I call it. So guys, do not forget to bring all of these things. It's very, very important. And you're seeing this thing in my hand. It's called Ilaro in my language. It's used to cut your hair. You know, if you want to make corn roll, for example, I don't like going to the salon to make my hair because what I do mostly here is corn roll. I could just easily use this to make a pattern and also just braid my hair myself and then fix in my crochet whatever I want or put on my wigs like this. This is wigs and it looks really amazing. I have a lot of it. So guys, please come with your wigs. If you're coming, it's very, very important. Come with your hair extension like attachment if you want, if, if that's what you like. Come with um, um, crochets if you like crochet too because these are really going to serve a long time for you they're going to they're gonna help you survive here in this country you can't just afford to come here and the next thing you want to go and start spending money on those things you know you want to go to the salon you know to fix your hair to sometimes you can even bring um um air relaxers you can buy all this um the one that you can easily the ones in the this silicon bag and then just you know remove the cotton Put it nicely in your bag. Just ensure you have all of these things in bits in your bag and ensure that you're coming with everything that you would need to survive in this country. This will mark the end of my video. I hope it's worth watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And please turn off the notification bell so you can be the first to get notification whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by and this means a lot to me. And please subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, help this community grow. Uh, it means a lot to me. Thank you again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.